This is Dan Fleming from Dansmart Software Solutions. This is the first part of the draw to list conversion service. We're going to create this stair using option number two, which is a structured auto conversion. We're going to flip over to the stringer portion and we're going to create the bottom half of the first floor stringer as one function. Same thing with the top part of the first floor stringer. That's the second function. So on and so forth <clears throat> until we get all four of these stringers drawn. We'll go ahead and get everything started. This is going to be new auto without text and we're going to call this function stringer and it will be function number one. We're going to pick the parts for the stringer. Go ahead and pick the closure plate. Then we'll come back and get the clip at the bottom to hold it up off the floor for grouting purposes. Then we'll come back and get the parts for the landing to put the landing together with. We'll go ahead and get the grading on this particular one and then we'll pick the treads and also we'll get the elevation We're going to append this one, and this will be stringer number two. We call it as function number one. It does auto count also. Now we'll go ahead and pick the treads. Let me undo a few steps. We need to pick the bottom landing pieces so we'll know where the holes are going to be. Then we'll pick the treads. and then we'll go ahead and get the elevation now we'll start the next function we're going to pin this one, this is stringer it'll be number three
go ahead and pick our top landing parts go down and get our bottom landing parts and then we'll pick our treads we'll start another function Pick our top landing. In this particular case, it has grading. Pick our bottom landing so we can make sure that we get the holes. Get the treads. and then the elevation. Now we're going to close out this function. Now it's completely closed out. We would have to start a new function. We could append more to this, but it would start the functions over and over again. So we want this to be one program by itself. We're going to update, go to the very front of it, that stringer one through four. It has a main function code code to control the other subroutines. We're going to go ahead and load the code. And we'll just go ahead and erase everything. And then we'll paste run code. And there's our our stringers. Now we can manipulate, you know, with a little bit of math, trigonometry to build any stair that we want. We can repeat uh, stringer number two and stringer number three as many times as you want and then run stringer number four at the top of stringer number whatever it was that you finished for where stringer number three was going to be. So it's very easy to create a very complicated stair program. You can create the plan views, you can create the details, I mean as much as you want to with draw the list programming service. This is option number two. Stay tuned for the railing options. Thanks.